could ever manage was to suck on a piece of damp cloth. But you know, we were happy then, though we were poor. Because we were poor. My old dad used to say to me, money doesn't buy you happiness, son. Yeah, he was right. <laughs> I was happier then, and I had nothing. We used to live in a tiny old tumble-down house with huge holes in the roof. A house? Mm. I was lucky to have a house. <laughs> we all lived in one room, all 26 of us. <laughs> Half the floor was missing. We were all huddled in one corner for fear of falling. <laughs> a room? You were lucky to have a room. We used to have to live in a hallway. Oh, we used to dream of living in a hallway. <laughs> to us. We lived in an old garbage dump. <laughs> and woke up every morning by having a load of rotting fish dumped all over us. House. Uh, well, when I say house, it was actually a hole in the ground. It was covered by a couple of feet of torn canvas, but it was a house to us. <laughs> we, were, we were addicted to our hole in the ground. <laughs> down a lake. There were 150 of us living in a shoebox in the middle of the highway. <laughs> Cardboard box? Yes, sir. You were lucky. <laughs> we lived for three months in a rolled up newspaper in a septic tank. <laughs> I used to have to get up at 6 o'clock every morning, eat a crust of stale bread, go teach five classes at New Tech for 14 hours a day for 10 cents a month. <laughs> My dad would thrash us to sleep with his belt. <laughs> Luxury. <laughs> you have to get out of the lake at 3 in the morning, clean the lake, get a handful of cold gravel, go to New Tech, teach nine classes for 20 hours a day for five cents a month, and then when I got home, our dad would beat us around the head and neck with a broken bottle if we were lucky. <laughs> at midnight and lick the road clean with our tongues. I had half a handful of cold gravel. I taught 15 classes at New Tech, 24 hours a day, for four cents every six years, and when I got home, <laughs> our dad used to slice us in two with a bread knife. <laughs> <laughs>